you're doing well. Happy January. Um, welcome to the second half of the month. Okay. I pulled together a new spread here, guys, because there's a lot of us trying to make changes, and I'm getting a lot of emails, a lot of current clients, uh, and a lot of private readings where I think there's just an overwhelming feeling that you have to make a change, okay? The only changes that we have to make in life are the ones that we know we have to make, right? Don't think that because, you know, it's the end of a cycle, it's the brand new start of something, your life may be in a perfect spot. Leave it there, okay? We, we only need to really make changes when we know we do. Nothing is changing outside of that here. But I think there's an overwhelming feeling of needing to make a choice. And if that's the case and it's for the right reason, um, then yes, by all means, that's what you should do. But if you're being hung up because there really is nothing to change, that's different. So I pulled together this spread. See how it applies to you. Check your sun, moon, and rising. And then, you know, make your 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 life alterations accordingly. Okay, sometimes we really, the littlest changes are the, the biggest ones, right? So, don't be overwhelmed. Okay, trust yourself. You know what to do. I do feel, though, that you're trying to um, see something. You're trying to I think see from the beginning to the end of why something is happening that you're not quite sure what the purpose of it is, right? Um, why did this person come into my life? Why am I running up against this? Why, 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 right? There's a message here to just trust that um, this is a blessed time in your life, okay? Things are working behind the scenes, and you will look back on this and see how everything played a part, and you'll be grateful for it, okay? So... Again, if there's something that you think, you know, I think there's just, even that message was just one of just relax. Just relax. You don't need to know everything, okay? There is beauty in mystery. Enjoy it, okay? Things will be revealed to you. I don't feel anything negative here, okay? But we'll see what comes out in the cards. But I really just think this is is you trying to... Uh, see the beginning, the middle, and the end, and, and that's just not how life works, right? If we got everything that we wanted and we saw everything, what would the purpose be? What would the driving force behind things be, right? Mystery and passion bring us to life, right? So there you go. All right. The situation here for the later part of, of uh, January Remember, guys, time is fluent, all right? It doesn't end at uh, the end of January. But this is the energy that we've got right now, okay? And we can change that instantly. We don't have to, uh, you know, anything that's not fixed, we can change in this moment. So if you don't like this reading, you can change it outside of the fixed changes, okay? All right, so the situation here is uh, the death card, transformation, okay? Hang on. The challenge is the priestess. Trusting yourself. Okay? Hang on. I know where this is going. What you need to know is the king of coins. I just did Virgo. If you've got Virgo in your chart somewhere, check that out anyway. It may be in your chart somewhere. It just may not be your sun, moon, or rising, but check that out. That was one of these two where I think there was not wanting to let go of something um, that you know isn't wonderful. You're not thrilled with it, but it's more the devil that you know opposed to the devil you don't know. Release the things that are not serving you, okay? The, what you need to know is the king of coins. This is money, okay? This is money coming to you, okay? Or a business venture where you do very well. So let's just see here, okay? What you might not see coming
Ten of Coins. Let the crap go that's not serving you. This is what's coming to you, okay? Okay. Trust the journey. Trust the journey here, okay? Find the beauty in the mystery, okay? Your advice here. Is the three of coins celebration okay advancement advertisement okay the outcome here is the devil card take back your power take back your power start living your life remember the devil is lived or unlived Take back your power and live your life. Okay? Now, if you were not to follow this advice here, okay? This is door number two. Okay? Again, they're both just showing you both sides of the coin. One doesn't necessarily need to be better than the other. It's just giving you choices here, okay? Now, if you were not to follow the advice here, okay? We've got the Nine of Cups, okay, the Wish card. Don't be confused. I'll show you how this is aligning. And the outcome to that is the Hierophant, okay. Our overall energy is the Two of Wands, okay. It's needing to make a bold choice, but it's also about union, okay? The polarities in life, okay? The mystery, not, it, it, it's, it's thinking ahead, making wise choices, um, but giving it the time to take root, okay? The Two of Wands, is knowing and trusting enough in yourself that you can do this, whatever this is to you, okay? Now, the situation is the death card, the transformation card, okay? It's the natural order of things, all right? The challenge is the priestess card, okay? Introspection, listening to yourself, knowing that you have the GPS that you need, you have the answers that you need, okay? to make these choices for yourself, to make these transformations for yourself. You just need to trust yourself and listen to, listen to yourself, okay? That's the challenge, second-guessing yourself, um, not trusting the choices that you're making, okay? Releasing the things that, this is a card too, the situation about letting things go that need to be let go, okay? Again, these are two fixed cards, so we just, said we could change the reading and change what we don't like about this. These are fixed changes though, okay? So this transformation is coming and the challenge here is you listening to your intuition, okay? If you don't, it comes up in ways that you have no choice but to do it, okay? So what you need to know here is you've got um, money coming to you. If you're trying to pull a business plan together, it's coming together. You've got to just trust it and trust yourself. If you're really looking to go off in a sharp left, you know that you've got the edge to do it, okay? Just plan long-term, plan accordingly, and make the bold moves, okay? All right. What you might not see coming is the Ten of Coins. You know, you've got the resources here. This is a long time coming, too. You may have financial backers you're not aware of yet. You know, you may have uh, a large amount of cash coming in that you don't know about. It can come from anywhere, too, okay? Um, but it's not a small amount of money. It could, be a new, it, it, it could be a new job. It could be a new venture. But either way, it's bringing in a lot of money, okay? It's richness in your life, and it's not just financial. It brings richness in, in fulfillment, in time, in energy, in anything tangible here, okay? Community, resources, 
um, anything like that. All right. Your advice here is the three of coins. Uh, working in harmony, uh, listening to other people, um, mind, body, and soul all going in the same direction, trusting yourself. Okay, that's your advice here. Whatever it is that you're looking to do, you've got a talent where you're going to gain recognition. Okay, um, the advice that comes with that card though is to not get cocky. Okay, I don't have a feeling that you will. There was nothing, like I said, I still don't feel anything negative around here. I just feel a lot of self-doubt. And um, trusting your intuition, that's like a muscle, too. You know, if, if, you, if you don't do it and you second-guess yourself as, a, as the norm, of course, it's going to take a little bit of, you know, time to trust your intuition. But I'm telling you here, this is, you know what you're doing, and you know you know what you're doing. Okay, your outcome card here is the devil card. Take back your power, okay? That's all that this is. It, it's telling you to take back your power and start living a life that's yours, okay? The devil is not a, a good, a bad card. It's trusting your instincts. It's uh, listening to yourself, okay? This is your challenge, all right? These three cards, though, guys, are the ones that aren't changing in here, okay? It's letting things go to welcome in your life and trusting yourself that you know what you're doing. Okay. I think what you're trying to do here is see this from beginning to end and you're not going to and there's a reason you're not supposed to because there's some beautiful little nuggets in here that are going to blow you away that you're not supposed to know about right now okay so if you didn't follow this advice what you would have here is the wish card okay it's a nine it's also a card of um, reflecting on what you have filled your cups with nines are about the winding down of something okay what have you emotionally fulfilled yourself with all right are they good things are they bad things are they old uh, old worn out emotions old ways of seeing things that the five the fives always need reassessment okay this is about values morals traditions Whose? Whose have you filled your cups with? Yours or someone else's? Is this serving you any longer? This is the advice, okay, is to really look at this too, okay? Again, like I said, you've got two options here, okay? You can trust yourself and take your power back, or you can take a moment and really look at what you've been emotionally fulfilling your life with. Are they worn out? things or are they wishes you know is your life right where it should be if it's not chances are you've been you know living a worn out life that that's not yours any longer okay so that's all this is really about virtues principles, okay, are the ones that you are living your life by yours. That's all these cards are really asking you. That's all, okay. I think it actually just amps up the validity in this throw, okay. I'm pretty sure that the majority of you are going to say no. They're not, okay, because this energy coming in and you've got the two of cups right behind it, okay, and the wheel of fortune, okay. This is a, a partnership, okay, that is divinely guided and it's good health, okay. This is bold moves. Trusting yourself, knowing that you've got what it takes to do this, okay, and you've got the wheel of fortune. It's time, okay. It's the season to let this go, whatever this is to you, okay? I have a feeling that what it is is it's just old out emotional baggage. Honestly, I do, okay? I think this is wonderful, okay? Trust yourself. You know exactly what you're doing. You're going to bring in a windfall of cash, too. And time and energy, everything is going to be abundantly balanced for you. 
Okay, this is also a new relationship coming in here too, if we're going to pull this one, which we are. Okay, it's a balanced one. Okay. All right, I think this was lovely. I don't think we need any clarifiers whatsoever. Okay. What you're doing is going to bring you recognition. It is. Okay. And I feel also that you've got the energy that pulls people towards you. So you're not going to be lacking um, an audience to what you're trying to, to do here. You're going to be very, very successful. Okay. Use your creative edge. You're a very intuitive sign. Trust yourself. Trust in that. Trust the abilities that you've got. Okay. Trust the people that are willing to help you. Okay, because they're showing up here too. And these are people that uh, have hit the road a few times too. You don't get to be uh, this successful by not having pitfalls. Okay, so they can really serve you. All right, and they're showing up in what you need to know. So there are people around you, okay, that are willing to help you. All right, I hope that I've helped you in some way. I'll be back for February. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. Okay, thank you so much.